Alright, so today I want to talk to you guys about the music video do's and don'ts. So I had someone ask me in the Music in the Millions Discord. Basically, they wanted to find out some tips. They were brand new to filming and editing their own music videos. So I figured it was a great opportunity to have my homie Dre come on here with me. This is going to be a two-part episode, so make sure you guys stick around for tomorrow to see part two. And yeah, let's get right into it. You know that we come in liars. Oh, I'm gonna keep praying to God. What? Yeah, I forgot my intro. What the fuck? Because <laughs> I'm here. See? Everything. What's going on, guys? It's Pimp Fried Rice. Welcome to the Music in the Millions podcast, the show where we give independent rappers the tools and resources needed to be successful without waiting on a record label. Today, I got Dre here with me. We're going to be having a two-part episode where we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of... <coughs> bless you of conducting a music video, um, stuff that we've learned from experience. Dre is a videographer, a graphic designer, a rapper, a jackass, um, a whole lot of other things. More of the last one than any of the others. <laughs> That's a fact. Um, but yeah, no, so we're going to talk to you guys about some do's and don'ts, and I'm going to let him carry most of the conversation, but I'm going to give my two cents wherever it's necessary. So with that being said, Never necessary. you can give yourself a brief introduction, and then... Like you said, my name is Dre. It is. And that's it. Brief introduction. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my name is Dre. I'm a designer. And I'm also a rapper, and I do a little bit of video. Hence the reason why I'm here today. Hence the reason why I'm here today. That's right. Today. So, my first do I have on here is always pre-plan. It doesn't matter if you're just building a single shot, like, it, like a performance video, where it's just like one camera, one shot, or if you're doing a full music video. It really helps to figure out what you want the whole project to look like before you start it. Mm -hmm. So, I do a lot of performance videos um, in my kitchen, and after a while of just doing them in one spot, I decided I'm gonna start doing them in different spots. I'll start adding effects in different places, and it kind of like starts to sauce it up a little bit more. So, but I wouldn't be able to really know where I was gonna go with it if I didn't plan at least. I want this to be the background, or I want this to be the like the lighting for it. So, and we, well, I'll probably bring back th bring up this video shoot again. I call Pimp over here Rab, so I'm gonna keep calling him Rab. Yeah, so don't get confused. If he says Rab, I'm who he's talking about. That's from back when I rapped as Hostile Roger, cause Roger Rabbit. So yeah, continue. Yeah, so back in the day, we shot this music video where. It was essentially five shoots or five different scenes, and what each the way that we transitioned into them, which I can go ahead and touch onto this don't uh, next to it, is we would just spin the camera around, and when it came back around, it would be in a new location. Um, I picked out all the places I wanted to do it. I figured out what uh, the sequence of the rotations that I wanted, so it was like around to the right. Or to the left, then around to the right, then up, and then down. Because you had to coordinate that show, otherwise it yeah. wouldn't make sense when you right. did the va the videos later, which also ties back into the planning, because it's yeah. like you got to know this one goes up, so that way right. the next video transitions down or wherever it's, it's going. Like it just had you had we had to like think of all this before we did it. And he did. I I did not know any of this shit. <laughs> so, um, but that also comes into this whole entire thing about transitions. Like you don't always have to use the craziest transitions. Like you might see something that looks cool that you might want to use as like a burn effect that will like burn one image off to another but a lot of those times it winds up looking really cheesy so it really it sometimes is more effective to just plan out how you want each scene to go into each other and then try to do it as much in, inside of your camera as possible then you have like your basic effects or your basic transitions like your cross dissolves or you're just plain cuts or your wipes, and those are the ones that you probably use the most. But I feel like that's super situational just yeah. because like there's some videos where you're gonna be, you know, super technical, have a lot of crazy right. effects, like if you're doing some like Travis Scott type right. shit. But like effects is different because like, yeah, um, you can go ahead and base your whole entire video off effects. Like, right. I, well, I'm just saying for well, the transitions and everything in general, like it's gonna, which I feel like that, that point just really ties back to the plan, what you're gonna do ahead of time. That way you're not just adding like, effects in later so that way you're you, trying to overcompensate. Yeah, compensate for a video being kind of lackluster. If you want a good example, is there's a band called Houseplant, and all their videos are really like, 
they're kind of cheesy, but they're made to be cheesy. So right. they use a lot of those effects of like... Like they use cheesy green screen editing and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, so it's like, it, but it works. So Because like, it's their aesthetic. So it's all about just planning. Yeah, um, just know what you want with the video and then do that shit. So another do I would like to say is take the time. Like, a lot of people want to shoot a vid music video and get it all done with like an hour and a half. And it really looks like that when you go ahead and get it all done because you have not as many shots or you just like are reusing the same kind of footage and it just like looks really plain so instead of doing that you might want to take like a Saturday when nobody's doing anything and just go out and just or even a two or three day shoot really yeah. like if you need like especially if you're doing other locations right. it doesn't hurt to just be like alright we're gonna shoot for an hour or two at this location on Friday Saturday we'll pick back up at spot two and three and also and that helps you not get burnt out from doing the whole entire thing like facts if you went ahead and um now, once again with that, that video, uh, that video that we shot probably took like a good like maybe like three hours to go between each of the locations and then shoot it maybe like two or three times. And, and that was a simple video like we really, yeah. minus the location changes, like the only thing about the video was like he literally was walking towards the camera and then as he said he would like smack the camera every or like put his like hand every, over it. Every four bars I would just like smack it because it would just change up and it would just make And then new location. Yeah. And it was simple, but it was effective because everything was planned out and the concept was there, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, so most definitely, uh, I'm also going to say don't go over the top. Like, this, I'm going to kind of encapsulate a couple of these in. So don't go over the top. Like, take what you have and use it to your advantage. Like, you don't always have to have a really, like, fancy car or, like, fake money. Like, you can go ahead and get around that in other ways. Like, you can draw up your own money if you really need to or you can go and just find somebody who has not even like the, a really nice car but like a decent car that's a friend of yours or if you want to have like a really like fire location like maybe one of your friends has a pool or I feel like that's when like I feel like when you have more limited resources that's actually when you can start to come up with cooler more creative things because like maybe someone doesn't have a cool car but then you figure out a way to make all your car scenes out of like a hot wheel car and like you yeah. have like this cool background and like you almost it's like he was saying with how it could be cheesy like you make it look like people know oh shit this is a hot wheels but like in the concept of the video that could be fire you know what i mean but you're not spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on renting a fucking lambo well, i'm or also whatever talking about like you don't have to have a, nowadays you don't have to have a great camera you don't have to have like crazy lighting equipment like i just shot a performance video in the dark in my kitchen with two cell phone lights. I just had one on one side and the other on the other side to get an even light cast and I just shot the video that way and it worked out perfectly fine. So people, I know a lot of people want to go out and buy like, you know, like the on, the on camera lights and on camera mics and all that and spend like maybe like $500 on camera equipment and then don't know how to use it. So I would say Figure out how to use your product, or how to use whatever you got, and then after you figure out how to use that, then you understand. Maybe I do need online. Uh, maybe I do have need an onboard lighting with uh, with the temperature changes and all that. Well, like um, lyrical lemonade, which if you guys yeah, don't know, that's up. a super popular music video. Cole I, Bennett. Yeah, Cole Bennett is basically the director of all these music videos and. The whole premise of his videos is he didn't have a lot of money or cool resources and stuff. So what he did was he took a lot of really simple locations and really simple concepts and just made them super crazy by having really vibrant colors, cool animations pop on the screen that he did in post product. And he just really took it like he's probably the, the best example of someone nowadays who took limited resources and then really just was like, I'm going to make the most out of this little bit yeah, of stuff he does, that I have. He did videos for like Juice World where it was just literally just little locations here and there but then he knows how to use After Effects or whatever or Sony Vegas or whatever he's using to do his effects and is able to make what would normally be like a really basic music video look something like crazy you, <laughs> something like you would pay like maybe like ten thousand dollars on and well I'm sure he's getting paid way more than that no, now I'm saying like beginning, when, yeah, when he started, like it would look like he might have paid like ten thousand dollars to do this video when it might have cost him like maybe like 200, 300. Yeah, yeah. He, he's super nice. So if you guys haven't seen any Lyrical Lemonade videos, I highly recommend doing a deep dive after watching this episode. So yeah, um, B-roll. Most definitely make sure that you always shoot B-roll. Explain what B-roll is. I, am. Some, I was gonna say, some I people am. probably don't know what B-roll is. So what B-roll is, is anything that you shoot that's extra on top of what 
your principal shots are. So like maybe you were, maybe you and your friends were just hanging out in between shots. You get just footage of you guys hanging out, laughing, rolling up weed, you know, doing just shots of like your sneakers go like panning across people. Like literally, it's anything, literally. anything that's not the main purpose of the video. Yeah. So if the video is you sitting in front rapping, a B roll could be like panning over to like a different section of the room. And that I'm, maybe you're not. I'm gonna also in. tell you this. Just because you shoot B-roll in one music video shoot doesn't mean you have to use it for that music video shoot. Facts. You can hold on to that and use it again. Or you can use it, in, you don't even use it that time, use it in another video. Just always shoot B-roll and then keep your B-roll. And it's better to have more B-roll than not enough B-roll. Which goes into this whole, this other don't, is don't undershoot. That's a, a lot of people do the situation where it's like, alright, so I like, they want to just shoot these few scenes and that's it and then when they go to edit it they don't they're have, running out of clips and stuff yeah they're just running out of clips like I this is another video sh I d shoot I did where I did it in my kitchen but I had my camera set on um, he loves his kitchen it's where I work <laughs> it's literally where I work out of so um but it's <laughs> cooking up the, <laughs> cooking up the pot like the stir fry <laughs> but yeah I put my uh, camera on uh, my heater which oscillates so it's oscillating back and forth. That's and I, a big word for turn. <laughs> <laughs> goes like this. <laughs> oscillating. But yeah, I might have shot maybe like seven or eight different shots of like, I'll be sitting in front of the camera. I'll be sitting in the back of the room. I'll be sitting off to the side. I'll be just standing. I'll be sitting there with my, uh, just eating like Oreos or my cat and my dog are just walking You're around. You're eating your cat? Oh, I was about to say. Uh, he said eating Oreos or my cat or yeah my cat and my dog are just walking around like I just shot like as much as I could and then I shot my my own performance shots and that way when I went ahead and cut it all together which <laughs> that's a whole nother story is um which we got a tip for how to cut your stuff together so stay tuned so it's just like it all I was able to like all right so I want this part here I want this part there I don't want this part here I want that part there and I was able to like have the luxury to pick and choose which parts I want and not be like forced to just use like maybe like the two or three clips that I would have got maybe like two or three years ago. So yeah. Click ins, account ins, like if you're gonna have your track on <laughs> if you're gonna have your track in the background, it's really difficult for your whoever's editing to just line that shit up without like some type of click in. Like you don't have to put it in the actual song. It does help. If you get your produce like a producer to just put in like a metronome that goes in for a three count before you're a like, three count, why not a four count? It could go a four count, but like usually the four count usually how I do it is one, two, three, and then on the fourth it would just start. Yeah, uh, when I do my performance videos, I before I at the beginning of every take, I'm like one, two, three, and then I click the click it, and I guess that'd be my four, and then I'd be able to like line them up really easy. So click ins are very helpful. Like they're not. I want to say they're a necessity, but they're definitely something that you want to use if you have an editor and you don't want him to hate your guts. I would say always get some type of count in. One, two, three, four, shoot. It could even just be some weird sound effect that right. plays right before the... It's literally anything that indicates a marker before the song starts, so that way when he's dragging all the files into whatever software he edits it with, it literally is like, okay, if I hear the duck quacking or whatever sound right. you use, then That's why they, all yeah. the duck quacks are lined up. Now you know you could, it's just, e it's easier for your editors. So if you guys don't understand what we're talking about, do it for your editors. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they'll 100% they'll get down on their knees and praise you. Did not think that was going there. Yeah, I bet you didn't. Wow. Fucking dirty bastard. Wow. All right. <laughs> so next point. Oh, <laughs> uh, where were we at? Um... So that was part one of this two-part interview uh, with Dre, where we're going to be talking about the music video do's and don'ts. Hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this first video. Make sure you guys drop a like. Make sure you guys comment. I want to find out which one of these tips so far was the most helpful to you. Which of these did you not know? Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can hear my annoying ass voice whenever I pop up. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace. I'm